Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com in the first week of December 2021. Actress Janshel Alexander died November 27, 2021, in a shooting in New Orleans at the age of 22. She was a child actor in the 2012 film Beasts of the Southern Wild. Alexander is being remembered for a career that ended too soon. Senator Bob Dole died December 5, 2021, of lung cancer at the age of 98. He represented Kansas in the U.S. Senate for more than 25 years, from 1969 to 1996. He is also being remembered for his presidential candidacy in 1996, running against President Bill Clinton. Dole was a U.S. Army veteran of World War II. He was gravely injured on the battlefield and was honored with two Purple Hearts and a Bronze Star with a V for Valor. Country musician Stonewall Jackson died December 4, 2021 in Nashville, Tennessee. He died of vascular dementia at the age of 89. He had number one hit songs in the 1950s and 60s, including Waterloo and BJ the DJ. He is being remembered as a longtime member of the Grand Ole Opry, the last living solo artist who was inducted in the 50s. Jackson was a U.S. Navy veteran who served in the early 1950s. Tennis player Darlene Hard died December 2, 2021, in Los Angeles at the age of 85. She won the U.S. Championship two years in a row and was the top-ranked woman tennis player in the U.S. in the early 1960s. She is being remembered as a formidable doubles player who won 13 major doubles titles. Actress Yvonne Wilder died November 24, 2021, in Los Angeles at the age of 84. She played Consuelo in the original movie adaptation of West Side Story, as well as on stage in a touring production. Wilder is also being remembered for her performance in the movie Seems Like Old Times. Football player Claude Humphrey died December 3, 2021, in Philadelphia at the age of 77. He was a defensive end for the Atlanta Falcons and the Philadelphia Eagles. Humphrey is being remembered as a Pro Football Hall of Famer and a six-time Pro Bowl pick. Journalist Greg Tate died December 7, 2021, at the age of 64. He was a critic for The Village Voice for decades, writing about black culture and music. Tate is being remembered as one of the first critics to write about hip-hop music when the genre was in its early days. Video game producer Masayuki Uemura died December 6, 2021, at the age of 78. He created the NES and Super NES gaming systems for Nintendo, some of the earliest products to bring arcade games into people's homes. Uemura is being remembered for helping to revolutionize the gaming industry. Author Marie-Claire Blay died November 30th, 2021, at her home in Key West, Florida, at the age of 82. She was one of the most acclaimed Canadian authors of her generation, known for books including A Season in the Life of Emmanuel. Blay is being remembered for her unique writing style, including sentences that could go on for dozens of pages.
Rustler Blackjack Lanza died December 8, 2021, at the age of 86. He was half of the legendary tag team The Blackjacks, wrestling in the 1970s and 80s. Lanza is being remembered as a WWE Hall of Famer who also worked as a road agent and producer for the WWE. Musician Robbie Shakespeare died December 8, 2021 in Florida. He died following kidney surgery at the age of 68. He was the bass player for Sly and Robbie, the Grammy-winning Jamaican reggae rhythm section and production duo who worked with such greats as Peter Tosh, Grace Jones, and Bob Dylan. Shakespeare is being remembered as one of the all-time greatest and most influential bassists. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags across the United States have been lowered for National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day in honor of those American patriots who died as a result of their service at Pearl Harbor. Eighty years ago, on December 7, 1941, the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii was bombed by Japanese forces. 2,403 Americans were killed. Using new technologies, the U.S. has continued in recent years to identify the remains of those who were killed at Pearl Harbor. Many have been returned home for burial. Flags across the United States have also been lowered to honor the memory of Senator Robert Joseph Bob Dole. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of Leanna J. Lee Owen, Virginia E. Ginny Sorensen, and Jane D. Coolidge. Flags in Arizona have been lowered to honor the memory of Tucson Sector U.S. Supervisory Border Patrol agent Martin Barrios, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Florida have been lowered to honor the memory of former U.S. Congresswoman Carrie Meek. Flags in California have been lowered to honor the memory of San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department Detective Armando Cantu. Flags in Missouri have been lowered to honor the memory of Belgrade firefighter James Dale Jenkins, who died in the line of duty, and Detective Antonio Valentine. Flags in Illinois have been lowered to honor the memory of Firefighter Lieutenant Garrett E. Ramos of the Sterling Fire Department. Flags in Alabama have been lowered to honor the memory of retired Sheriff's Deputy Madison Skip Nicholson, who was killed in the line of duty. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Five years ago this week, astronaut and U.S. Senator John Glenn died at the age of 95. Ten years ago this week, actor Harry Morgan died of pneumonia at the age of 96. Forty-one years ago this week, musician John Lennon was murdered at the age of 40. Animation pioneer Walt Disney was born 120 years ago this week. He died in 1966 of lung cancer at the age of 65. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.